Hey guys, uh, so I hope you guys uh, are doing well. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, like, like the video if you like it. Uh, share it with your friends if you guys um, like this. Uh, the more you guys subscribe, the more you guys like my videos and share, the uh, better it helps me out. Um, but for this video and the next few videos I'm putting out, please be respectful. Um, the, the next few videos, including this one, are going to be my point of view and my point of view alone on things. Um, please, if you want to comment, uh, drop a comment down below in the description box and be as respectful and clean as you can. Um, and don't come at me with emotions or without facts. Um, I'll happily debate you and respond to you with facts. Um, and hey, if you have facts that um, I haven't seen, I will happily look at them and give them my point, um, point of view. And you know, hey, if you guys can change my my point of view based on facts cool if <coughs> like i said this is my point of view and my beliefs so hope you guys enjoy so the first question uh that i'm going to talk about right now is should police departments be defunded or if not and why so me personally i do not think police um departments should be defunded, be defunded. i think um, there needs to be a better or better uh, quality of officers uh, and more emphasis on training. You know, in the military, <coughs> we have different unit, uh, different units in the military that specialize in different things, such as um, there's people that are snipers. Not everyone can be a sniper. If you want to be a sniper, you got to go to school, and there's not a lot of people that graduate in sniper school. You know, uh, just like how there's a <clears throat> There's uh, units um, that are rangers that specialize in small unit tactics. There's green berets and other special operations. <clears throat> There's people that uh, there's units that specialize in um, in direct fire. There's uh, people that um, specialize in the medical field. You know, so they're just like how there's different units in the military. Um, for the police departments, I think there should be different units within uh, different units um, that specialize in different things like mental health but you know on, on, on the topic of mental health you know there's officers that are specifically trained to help deal with mental health issues on mental health calls um, I think <clears throat> if there is more emphasis on that in training for all officers um, I think that would drastically help with a lot of stuff um, but a little description uh, that I found um, on this question was, while, um, while there are multiple interpretations of defund the police, the basic definition is to move uh, funding away from the police departments and into community resources such as mental health experts, housing, and social workers. In the larger scope of, um, well, <sighs> let's say, for instance, on domestic calls, let's say that it's getting really violent there's uh weapons involved you know there's uh, a lot of um l let's say there's a lot of blows exchanged or whatever you know there's a person hanging on for life or whatever what's a social worker gonna do yeah the social worker can try to de-escalate it but um let's say <clears throat> the person that is causing the domestic pulls a weapon on the social worker what's that social worker gonna do you know they're going to try to hide and uh, protect themselves and ultimately they're going to call 911 so a social worker in that situation i don't think is the best answer to deal with it you know yes if there's an officer there um alongside the social worker okay um that together i think would help solve that issue you know but you know the social worker dealing with uh dealing with what they do while the police there run their investigation and help control and de-escalate the potential violence going on. In the larger scope of the civil rights movement, some advocates would um, reallocate some police funding but keep the police departments. Uh, others would uh, combine defunding with other police reforms such as body cameras and bias training. And others see defunding uh, small sub uh, ultimate abolishing the police departments and the prison system entirely. For more information, um, go to ProCog.com, um, and there's another site. Uh, so next question, should the U.S. ban assault weapons? My opinion, uh, weapon, weapons, tree falls, uh, 
weapons fall under the Second Amendment. Um, for instance, this cord can be used as an assault weapon. This soda candy can be used as an assault weapon. My pocket knife right here. Um, it's just a pocket knife. Liberals are going to, um, let's say this was used in a murder. Liberals are going to say, oh, that's an assault knife. No, it's not. It's just a uh, knife. You know, you can use anything as an assault weapon. So I guess what is ultimately an assault weapon? Uh, I looked up on Webster's uh, Dictionary. The definition of an assault uh, weapon, according to Mer Merriam Webster Dictionary, says this. Are any of the very variations, um, sorry, any of various semi automatic or automatic firearms? So, an automatic weapon means that, um, so before I kind of describe this, it is a magazine, not a clip. A magazine is what holds the ammunition or the bullets. So, in an automatic uh, weapon, what that means is that every time you pull the trigger, um, all the bullets are going to keep going out until you let go of the trigger. On a semi-automatic, for every one time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. So, um, and I'm not, there's very, very few people that have the proper, um, requisitions to be able to obtain, let alone own one. Um, so, um, I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Yes. I would, uh, does the second amendment protect weapons? Yes, but you know we're getting into gun control, which I'm gonna talk about later. So um, to continue going on to um, what the little synopsis of the, of the question is saying is a 1994 federal law that banned assault weapons expired in 20 or back in 04 and has not been re uh, renewed by Congress. At least seven states have a version of assault uh, weapons ban, but no federal law currently exists. Proponents of a ban uh, assert that military style weapons should not be in the hands of the public and taking them away would reduce violent crimes. Opponents of the ban uh, contended that weapons fall under Second Amendment's protection and the crimes are more often uh, committed with a weapon not covered by the ban. So, <clears throat> I guess, what is your definition of assault ban or an assault weapon? You know, um, I, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. And I'll kind of go more in depth based on uh, your individual comments on what you think an assault weapon is. Um, next, our next question: Should a federal or state government implement ban on box legislation which prevents employers from asking about a job applicant's uh, crim or a job applicant's criminal history? No, I think uh, an employer has the right to know if the applicant has a criminal background and to what extent. You know, is he a violent criminal or what type of criminal is that person? And was it a violent or nonviolent? Uh, did they do time and what for? So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on that. So next question, should the, um, should the death penalty be allowed? Yes. Um, so that's kind of a touchy feely thing. I, um, in kind of a loaded question. Um, do I think there are certain crimes that, uh, do warrant the death penalty? Yes. For instance, killing law enforcement, especially on the f state or federal, uh, level. Um, and there's a few other crimes uh, that I could talk about that I do think warrant the death penalty. But killing cops and first responders, I think, uh, is the uh, one of the top ones on my list that I would consider um, the possibility of warranting a death penalty sentence. Um, treason is another one. Um, 